Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I want to share a story about a time when I was bullied as a kid. I believe I was a freshman in high school, and this happened, and I want to share this with you and, and relate it to some things that are happening today. Now, I grew up with a great family in a great neighborhood in the suburbs. I was a chunky kid and very short, and I still am short. So my parents decided to send me and a friend to a neighboring city for a religious ed class. Now, we couldn't attend this in our city because we played sports and the schedules didn't align. So they said, we're going to send you guys over here. And from the very first class, they left my friend alone, but the majority of, P of the kids who all knew each other decided that they were going to target me. And one kid in particular would take my hat, he would sit behind me and take my hat and throw it across the room. Now, I've always worn a hat. I love wearing hats. People say, oh, we don't even know what you look like without your hat on. Well, here you go. A little bit of balding in the front. Still beautiful, says my mother. Anyhow, so this was happening and, and everybody would laugh at me. I'd, I'd say, what are you doing? He'd say, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And, and the girls would laugh, that hurt. And this was happening three or four times. And my friend said, oh, it'll go away. Don't, don't do anything. It's, it's going to be fine. Well, it wasn't fine. And I hated going to this class. I, I absolutely despised it. I finally got the courage to talk to my dad about it. I said, dad, this is what's happening. These kids are harassing me. It's, this is going. My, my dad said, son, how long has this been going on? I said, from the very beginning, dad, I hate this class. I want to drop out. Get me out of this class. He said, no. What you're going to do is you're going to handle the problem. Only you can take care of this, son. The teacher already showed you that she's incapable of doing anything. Nobody's going to handle this problem except for you and you alone. And you have to do it. See, my dad taught me how to be a leader. My dad taught me that, that you have to take care of your own issues. You have to stand up to your bullies. There are bullies as adults. They do it with their words all the time. But as kids... They do it physically, like taking a hat. And every now and again, he'd hit me in the back of the head, drove me nuts. If I was wise, I would have turned around and belted him right in the nose the very first time and gotten kicked out of the class. But I wasn't that wise because I always wanted to do the right thing. So my dad prepared me and he said, look, this is what you have to do. You don't have a choice. This is what you have to do. And he got my, my mind prepared and he got my physical being ready. And, and, and the next time I went into that class, which I couldn't wait to go, by the way, I was so pumped up. I sat where I normally did. And who comes behind me? This kid. Now, my dad did say, who's the main one? I said, this kid, he sits behind me. He goes, that's the one. That's the one you're going to handle. So the kid sat behind me, took my hat. I went and got my hat. I turned around. And I said, you know what? After this whole thing's over, I'm going to kick the living crap out of you. And he was all bug-eyed. And a little Hulk Hogan came out of me. I'm like, oh, yeah. And, and he was scared. And all of a sudden, nobody was laughing. All of a sudden, no words were thrown my way. No more hat throwing or hits on the head or anything like that. And then the stupid class finally ended. And guess whose parents were late picking them up? his and guess who was marching out that room following him he was like what 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 and i proceeded to beat the living crap out of this kid and then his mother finally showed up and she's like break it up break it up and i was hitting him over her arms i was so fired up and i was prepared now the reason i tell you this is not to try to explain what a tough guy i am i'm not but at no point did i decide that I was going to acquire a firearm and shoot up everybody who laughed at me or anything like that. At no point did I have a mindset that I needed to ruin everybody's lives. I am so sick of these kids today that acquire a firearm, they go in and create carnage because they were bullied. They never learned how to deal with their problems. Maybe their girlfriend girlfriend dumped them. Maybe they had a fight with their parents that day. And said, oh, things are so hard. And people in society buy into that. 
Whatever happened to the, the mentality that you have to handle your issues. We don't care how uncomfortable you are. We don't care how offended you are. We don't care if you didn't eat. We don't care about any of that. Handle your problems. Now, I understand some people didn't have it as good as I did growing up, but the, the, the concept remains the same. Handle your issues. And my dad taught me that. And I handled that issue. And so the, the next week, I couldn't wait to go into that class. I was, I was like, <laughs> hello. And, and nobody touched me. Nobody laughed at me. Nobody wanted anything to do with me because most of them were there when I was pummeling their buddy. And my friend said, holy smokes, you beat the living. I said, you know, it's just all this built up anger. It just had to come out. I couldn't keep doing it. And, and that's what happened. And so we make excuses for these idiot kids who get bullied at school or they have something tra traumatic happen to them and we make excuses, well, they were bullied. Well, his, his girlfriend left him for another guy. I don't give a crap, I, like, it doesn't matter to me. Handle your issues, become mentally stronger and you will live a more productive life. And so the government buys into this and they say, well, it's, it's not that kid's fault because he was traumatized, it's the gun's fault. Of course, and, and they blame you and me for owning them. It's a, it's a real horrible mindset that, that has taken over society today where they, they, they blame the bad, or they blame the good guy for the actions of the bad guy. And that's the whole issue with this gun debate and these kids that think the only way to handle problems is to go kill everybody. It's an outrage. So I just wanted to share that story with you related to what's happening today. And let me know if you like this kind of stuff because I have a lot. I've been on the, this earth for 55 years and I have a lot to share. I've always kind of stayed away from it because of uh, primarily creating a gun channel. But I think in some small way this relates and maybe it'll get somebody out there to talk to their kid and say, listen, handle your problems. You will grow, you will become more mature, and it'll be lifelong lessons that you will carry with you to become a better and more productive person. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.